Hey, what's up guys? This is Double Down and we're back with another video today. And uh, our topic for the day is where you use Bitcoin at an online marketplace. Uh, so what's very interesting is that businesses are starting to accept Bitcoin and they want to start integrating it as one of the currencies that they accept aside from fiat money. Now, it's a very smart idea for uh, businesses to start accepting Bitcoin. This is because Bitcoin is constantly appreciating. So just imagine, you know, you give a business, let's say, um, 0 0.05 Bitcoin, okay? And this was like, you know, some time ago, okay? Over time, as the price of Bitcoin grows and grows, that 0 0.05 Bitcoin that you gave to them back then has now grown to be much more in value than uh, at, at that moment. So businesses see that they want to capitalize on that it's very smart they want to be um involved in the whole bitcoin gold rush well um that's actually what makes businesses uh, more businesses accept bitcoin is uh seeing users actually use it so it has to be a user base that uses bitcoin right. in order for more businesses to start accepting bitcoin so it's like a give and take system so yeah so we don't we don't like i don't personally buy things with Bitcoin, I would rather hold on to it. But I do appreciate the people who are taking one for the team yeah. and giving their Bitcoin away to businesses so businesses can start, you know, um, hyping up this whole cryptocurrency did concept. You, did you see that, uh, the, the pizza delivery one? No. Uh, where the guy paid 10,000 Bitcoins for a pizza delivery? No. In what? 2010. Yeah. And oh, so, in 2010. Yeah. That's, he, he, see, paid, that's uh, he paid 10,000 Bitcoins for a pizza delivery. Do we know where that pizza delivery guy is right now? Well, it's, a, it's an actual, like, company you know? oh the company accepted yeah. it so it's like a small franchise you know what i mean okay, in a local okay, town okay. so they took ten thousand bitcoins for very this. smart company see yeah it's like that they're they're multi a hundred million dollars right now so we're gonna talk about like uh some of the places that actually accept bitcoin and some of the um places we list might surprise you the first one on the list is uh, microsoft microsoft actually accepts bitcoin on their um web page and you can use it for outlook you can use it for um, Xbox Live and any marketplace purchase, such as software, Windows 7, or anything like that. So that's very interesting. It's great to see the big companies like Microsoft starting to incorporate and integrate Bitcoin. Like, well, that just gives think, it so much publicity. Think about all those people that purchased games and software. Oh, yeah. Because people who are into like crypto and like mining and stuff, they're also into technology, right? That's right. why they learn. So those people had Bitcoin way back in the day. Yeah. And because Microsoft started accepting it, I guess they wanted to say, hey, um, you know, let's try it out. Like, will it work or something like that? Wow. So now Microsoft is actually holding on to all those Bitcoins. Smart. It's smart. Yeah, smart. So another company next on the list that's very smart is Newegg.com. Newegg.com has been accepting Bitcoin since I think 2013. And that's when Bitcoin was like relatively low, maybe even earlier than that, 2012. And Bitcoin was r relatively low at that time. And uh, Newegg started accepting it. And I was actually close to trying it out because it was like the first, one of the first major retailers that started accepting it. And I'm like, let me just try it out. But then I was like, nah, I just can't do it, you know? So another company um, for all you people who are addicted to Starbucks, you might be interested to know that Starbucks has integrated uh, Bitcoin into their app. And they partnered with this company, uh, I Pay You. And it's just, they developed some software that allows them to purchase coffee or whatever you wanna get from Starbucks uh, with Bitcoin, which I think is, is very surprising. And I actually saw a Reddit post the other day, uh, just purchased my first you know, uh, coffee with Bitcoin. It was like point zero 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 something of a Bitcoin. It's very cheap. And um, on a side note, everyone was just ragging him because they were like, "You should have held on to it." But you know what? Thank you for purchasing because you're one of the scapegoats. So, guys. so you know how uh, Starbucks competes with McDonald's and um, coffee and like breakfast right. and stuff. So now McDonald's just announced that. They're gonna accept Bitcoin starting January second, two thousand eighteen. So it's gonna be competition. Start wearing them Big Macs and some Bitcoins. Yeah, but I, we don't want to because I'm gonna diet. Oh, um, another 
company that accepts Bitcoin is Overstock.com. And Overstock.com has started accepting it maybe like a year, year and a half after Newegg started accepting it. And um, again, personally, I would not purchase anything from Overstock.com with Bitcoin. Uh, I like to hold. However, I do thank everyone that uses Bitcoin on Overstock.com or Newegg. That enables retailers to keep accepting Bitcoin and uh, smaller businesses or other businesses see that, hey, Overstock has it, Newegg has it, Microsoft has it. Why can't we accept it? They're keeping it on their page because, you know, there must be people that are paying for it. So why don't we try it out as well? And slowly that's going to be a, a growth of a new payment system. Um, across all a new currency. This is how you transition yeah, into new, using a new currency, new currency and o over all uh, the retailers online. And these people are, are taking the first steps to doing this, even though you know it's somewhat of a sacrifice. You know they're mm -hmm. somewhat sacrificing their gains by trading with it. It gives the currency more hype, and correct. It shows that hey, all these businesses are accepting Bitcoin, and it works out in the end for the in, in the long run. Yeah, and I mean. <clears throat> We could we could also say that you know small businesses can kind of look up to bigger businesses and say you know maybe we could give it a go um, you know maybe we have we have a, a little uh, you know play in our in our money and we don't really need to cash out right away so we could use this as an investment for the future and it's been working out for the retailers as you could see Bitcoin went from what a thousand dollars or back in the day it was hundred dollars and it went to ten thousand dollars so on that same item that they were already making money on they made hundred times that money yeah. so it, it's it's very good and then um, another retailer that's pretty huge is uh, Virgin Mobile and Virgin Atlantic uh, the airline they did start uh, accepting Bitcoin as well and Virgin Mobile so you could pay like your cell phone bill and stuff with with Bitcoin uh, one of the biggest or I wouldn't say biggest but one one big investor is uh, Richard Branson okay. the CEO uh, he he's very into cryptocurrency he's very active he talks about it a lot so he did bring it to all his uh, his companies that are that are retail oriented. So basically, um, those are all the retailers that are accepting Bitcoin right now and the retailers that are uh, to come in the future. We do hope uh, a lot more retailers start accepting more currency and um, you know, not just Bitcoin, but other currencies such as Ripple, uh, like we talked about in a previous video, how um, a Bitcoin can take you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes for a transaction time, whereas Ripple's you know, four, five, ten seconds at max. So we do hope that, you know, companies like uh, McDonald's or, or other fast food restaurants do kind of go into Ripple and other cryptocurrencies. But for now, this is a great start. And we do hope that other uh, retailers, even from small businesses all the way to big, start accepting B Bitcoin and other currencies. So it could uh, basically be a new form of currency, um, you know, that could be accepted. I, I I know earlier in the video I said that it's not such a great idea to spend your Bitcoin, but you know what? It's I I to everyone watching the video, and including myself too. I I'll, I'll start doing this more, but I think we should all spend a small amount of Bitcoin, right? If if there's a large number of us that can spend just a small amount of our Bitcoin, just hold the rest of it. Spend a small amount, you know, buy McChicken, buy coffee here or there. Right, this will spread uh, the hype for cryptocurrency. Right, we're all doing our part to try to transition from fiat money into cryptocurrency. And I know it's what we don't want to do. That's not something that we prefer. We prefer to hold on to it because you know the value is it's appreciating. Grow, yeah. um, but um, let's just play the part. Let's let's do our best to make this transition yeah, don't and, use too much a yeah, dollar yeah dollar menu couple That's dollars perfect. exactly yeah. mcchicken and mcdouble anything you want for a dollar and don't forget the four piece nuggets all right guys thanks for watching the video we really appreciate it yeah if you guys uh enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe